I know it, it's something that that is being is being called for. We've heard that, uh, you know, the last time it was reviewed, we still hadn't landed on the moon as as, as the human <laughs> race. Uh, none of our federal leader party leaders had been born yet. So really, time time for a review. Absolutely, one hundred percent. I'll, I'll start with if I were king. <laughs> if I were king, we'd have a flat tax system at the federal level. Hmm. Nice and simple. What would that one rate form, be? I don't know what the rate is, <laughs> but it would be a flat tax for All sure. Right. Nice and simple. None of these million deductions and exemptions and loopholes and everything like that. I would be a flat tax system if I were king. Now, obviously, I don't know if we're going to go in that direction. Probably not. But yes, a review of the tax system is warranted. I think it's about time. And those things aren't, aren't quick either. It takes about 10 years or so yeah. before everything gets ironed out and people agree on, on the path forward. But over the years, we've just piled one thing after another onto the tax code. And you're right, the book is huge. And even accountants I talk to, they sometimes say, this is ridiculous. Like it's so complex and complicated. How do regular people figure this stuff out and follow it and file correctly? It's, it's a real concern. So yes, absolutely. It's about time that tax code get reviewed in a serious way and about paring down all these exemptions and loopholes and deductions. I, I think uh, just we even need to contradictory, it. Yes, contradictory uh, points within, you yes. know, over here, yes, that's okay. Over here, no, that's not okay. Absolutely. I, I think it, it's just too complicated. I think we need to simplify this again. And what happens, again, over the years, because we haven't reviewed it, like I said, you just get piled one thing after another and it just becomes big instead of just a more concise document where people can easily file their taxes and, and get what's owed to them if, if that, that's the case. Right, and I guess there's, a, I mean, there's an impact to having a, a very complicated or overly complicated tax system and in competitiveness, mm -hmm. in rate of return for individual citizens. Absolutely. Uh, so how do you, I mean, you know, how do we kind of trudge along and, and not consider this seriously? Well, let's, we'll ignore the fact that businesses are really unpaid tax collectors for Canada Revenue Agency. So we'll take away that part of business that don't get compensated for, for doing that for, for the CRA. Uh, but yeah, you're right. The more businesses have to, again, when this goes to the cost of living, the more businesses, the cost of imposed on them, which is filing their returns on time, filing their HST if, if that's applicable, making sure that their books are solid, uh, which they should, but when, when all these extra measures get piled on top of them, the price of the product they're selling will be reflected, right? Mm -hmm. so, so every time the government says, this is a great idea, a new rule regulation, and, and at some point it gets reflected in the final price, and then when people are struggling to get by, increasing the price of everyday goods and services is, is not the smart thing to do. So right. yes, it's, it's making us less competitive. It's, it's putting time on businesses that should be thinking about the next step, the next, are they gonna expand? Where can they go? How can they develop their product or service so, it, so it's better for the consumer? These are all things that businesses should be thinking about, not, oh my goodness, this tax system is so complicated, I need to talk to my accountant an hour a day on how to get this done. And, and that's not efficient, and it's not productive, mm -hmm. and it's not fair to the, the end user either.